What's up, guys? It's your girl, Matt Cox from MA Couture Crafting. Hello. Today, we're going to be doing something a little different. Uh, last week, or maybe the week before, about 10 days ago, was the Met Gala. And I cannot believe how many people thought that I actually had a piece that walked the red carpet. I did not have a piece. I think it's so cool that people kind of are starting to know my style and know some of the things that I've done and think that I would be on the red carpet or I would have a piece on the red carpet. That's insane to me. However, I saw what they were talking about and I completely understood why they thought that maybe it was mine. But let's take a look at it. It is the ASAP Rocky quilt that he wore. So this year's theme was, what was it? Let me see if I can grab it. This year's theme was like an Americana kind of theme. So let's see how I can manipulate this. We're going to throw this over here. All right. So this year's theme was an Americana kind of theme. And I think he understood the assignment. I get it. So they did a bubble quilt, and the person who did it was E-R-L. Um, I get it. There were two outfits that I felt like really nailed the theme, and that was Pharrell and his wife, who came dressed in Western gear, because what's more Americana than Western? I don't know. And I can't think of something that's more Americana than um, a quilt. So I get it. However, this is not my work. This is, again, by somebody named ERL. Um, and let's see here. It's a bubble quilt. Now, I have gone over two different ways of doing a bubble quilt, and again, I'm really in love with the latter, and there was a woman today, I think her name was Eileen, or Ellen, I think it was Ellen, and she sent me a, a matter of fact, I'm curious to know who it was, let's see if I can find her, because it was a absolute genius comment, and she talked about how I think the best way to make a bubble quilt is to slit the back and then stuff it. I don't think it's a great idea to be stuffing Ellen Warner. Oh, genius. I don't think it's a great idea to be trying to stuff it while you're sewing it. Your shoulders are going to hurt. Your back's going to hurt. You're going to be discouraged. You're not going to finish your puff quilt. Like, it's not going to happen. And your puffs are not full, which is what I see here. These puffs are not full. When you have a full puff, it's definitely going to change the way that the material moves. It's going to be a tighter fit. So maybe that's why they didn't do it that way. Or maybe this is the look that they were going for. Um, it works. It's just not what I would have done. This color story isn't my color story. You guys know that. Um, and the fact that these puffs are just so uh, flexible and movable and not full. And if I were going to do a cape, like I knew you're going to wear my quilt, I would make it wearable. I probably would have had some sleeves inside mine, and they might not have been noticeable until you moved some kind of way, but mine would have had a shape other than just being wrapped in a quilt. That's not my style, per se. Um, people loved it, though, but I get it, because he totally understood the assignment, and also, you guys know that I would have had him open his arms, and there would have been a surprise inside, because again, that's who I am. If you guys know any celebrities, I suggest you call them and tell them, hey, she probably has an idea for you, because I have an idea of things that I would like to walk the red carpet that's incorporated by quilts, and quilts are all over fashion right now. I mean, Everybody and their mother has a quilted coat at this point, and I know what I want my first quilted coat to look like, but where am I going to find the time to do that? You guys see that I haven't given you guys a quilt in like three weeks or so. That's because I'm working on one. These things take time. But yeah, this is an interesting color story, and you can read the article here. He talks about how he grabbed pieces of his dad's robe and other things, and it's a memory quilt. I probably would have made it very specific to my client. I probably would have taken ASAP stuff, his kids' clothing. I don't know, maybe his hair. Who knows? Who knows what I would have done? But I would have done something that was very thoughtful, very, very thoughtful and specific to him. Um, let's look at this from some different angles. 
yeah, it because it's not super tightly packed, it does have nice movement to it, but who wants to walk around like this? I mean, I, I know, you know, you, you suffer for your art, your fashion. I get it. However, I just would have made it so that he could walk and move and show off the inside of that coat. Matter of fact, I have a really interesting take on the American flag that I probably would have put on the inside of that. You know, you know, me and my crazy. But it just looks uncomfortable to be walking around wrapped in your blankie. But that might have been what they were going for. I do like the way that it's draped here in this in this picture how it kind of flows down um, and you can see that there are very specific squares in that brown color but no guys I didn't do that that was done by ERL who is all into the fashion world and again it was in America a lexicon of fashion that was the Theme, and I think that a quilt, I think a quilt gets it, gets it done. I do. Now that I will say they nailed it there. But no, this isn't my piece. I wish I had a piece. I wish that I had been so lucky to be asked to do a piece because I've got some ideas. But um, it's a bubble quilt. And if you have not already done so, check out my bubble quilt. Did I tell you guys what Ellen said? I always talk about slitting the back of the quilts, right? She actually slid it with her rotary cutter prior to even sewing it down, which is genius. She's genius for that. It gives it a much cleaner slit. You don't have to worry about, oh my gosh, am I cutting through the front too? It's just the way that I will adopt making puff quilts from here on out. Definitely slit the back before you even sew it together. Oh, just genius. I love that she was cool enough to post that and share it and didn't keep it to herself. I love, I love, I love this community so much. You guys, thank you so much for hanging with me and talking with me about this puff quilt. Let me know if you've tried a puff quilt. Let me know if you like the best technique for the puff quilt or what I'm calling the best technique. Let me know, guys. Tell me all the things because puff quilts are all the rage right now. All right, guys. I will see you on my next one. Bye-bye.